Hey guys, happy to be doing another video. Um, sorry it's taken me so long to do something new. I've had a lot of setbacks this week, but I've also had a lot of good things. Um, my computer screen has a crack and it's blurring out half of the laptop, but I'm using it to record this time because my phone doesn't have enough storage to handle another video. So, and I can't unlock it to insert a new memory card. Uh, it's just, you know, one thing after another, but that's okay. I'm going to make it work somehow. Um, just happy to, you know, be able to, you know, do any of this. So I'm going to make it work however I can. Um, I do want to, you know, say something good that happened this week. I passed my accounting class with an A and then my advertising class with a B. So, yay, you know, summer break until August, so... I'm happy I'm studying equine therapy writing instructor uh, to be a therapeutic writing instructor uh, certi certified with PATH um, and also um, equine small uh, equine business management so I go through some um, business management courses as well as learning more about the equine world which you know horses um, so I'm still learning a lot of new terms learning how to do what. Um, my goal is to open a mental health center to eventually, an uh, equine therapy mental health center so that way I can help people. Because, um, you know, there's not a lot of mental health, you know, services out there for, you know, everyone. So I just want to, you know, see what I can do. Do I know how to do it? No. Do I have an idea and the passion to do it? Yes. So that's, that's something. I'm going to go with it and learn whatever I can and just, you know, I'm going to do something. Um, so I'm happy to be on summer break. Um, I get to work with Gracie a little bit more since it's summer break now and I don't have to stress about classes as uh, until fall. I'm going to work on desensitizing her because she's really sensitive to like motions and anything that goes on around her, which makes her unsafe to ride if something spooks her. So we're going to working on those things just letting her know it's okay giving her a lot of reassurance and praising and just you know getting her together so that way we both can be ready to ride I'm also taking extra lessons on a different course until I can you know get Gracie you know good enough to ride again uh, she has had training she has had tune-ups before so not her first rodeo. She's just been sitting for a while and dealing with uh, hoof problems, uh, chronic brush, but it, she's getting better. So she's still on a little bit pasture rest, so, but we're going to do some ground things before I even try to ride her or put anybody else on the rider. So just a lot of groundwork and desensitizing. Um, but yeah, so got a few things going on in my life just trying to take it one day at a time and jump on any opportunity that presents itself that I can do with my skill level um, I tend to I find that I zone out a lot and I am like stuck in my head I don't know if anybody else does this it's just I feel like I don't know I'm lost in my own world for so long and sometimes I can't get out of it and I don't know how to get out of it and then it, sometimes it ties into my depression and I'm stuck in this depressed world. Like, I don't know. I'm figuring, I'm trying to figure more out about myself and doing these videos actually helps me figure more out about myself. I get to talk and people give me feedback. Of course, there's going to be negative feedback, but taking everything with a grain of salt and not, honestly not listening to the negative stuff. Um, the Black Lives Matter movement has given me so much confidence and so much power in knowing that I can do stuff, knowing that there are opportunities out there for me. Just knowing that there are opportunities out there for me gives me life. It makes me want to do more, help everyone more. You know, you help me, I help you. You know, we all need to support each other in order to make any of this work. You know, if you have a small business, please let me know. I'd li love to give you a shout out or try you out. This house needs a lot of work, so, or if we get something new, I'd love to have you out and do, need some landscaping, anything. I even need help creating, you know, YouTube. I have some friends who already offered some services, and I'm going to, you know, give them a shout out as we go on. Um, you know, support each other. That's how it needs to be. This is about everyone. Um, 
and also it's also about each individual race and their own issues with each other because i know in the black community black on black hate is the thing and it's sad and it needs to end and it's just you know pe- humanity humans are scared of being different they're scared of different and the unknown and just fear got fear just anger it just feeds into your hate and so when you have other issues you just tend to take it out on other people and that's sad and so i'm hoping with the black lives matter movement that the black community can start loving each other and the black on black hate ends as well not to say that there's not other issues with other cultures and races those i will i hope hopefully with all this everything will be addressed you know just no more hate i just want love and peace for everyone and opportunities so that way i can better myself so, you know, just a little at a time and it's going to get better, a little hope. Um, you know, there are a lot of setbacks and when you have too many setbacks in a row, you can lose hope and just, you know, give up. And I've been that place. I've given up before, but I've had great friends and I'm so thankful for my friends that, you know, were there to help me because I would not be here without them. And so, you know, I'm going to do what I can to better myself and help my friends and help other people. So that way we can all eventually do better, you know. I don't want to, I don't want this to be my life. I don't want this to be it. But it's hard to do better for yourself when you don't have opportunities. And that's why there needs to be more education, more opportunities for everyone. There needs to be some kind of mental health service. Mental health plays a big factor into all of this. Because my parents passed their trauma down to me and their parents passed their trauma down to them from everything that's gone on ever since, you know, 400 years ago. So that's why it keeps getting tied back into slavery is because, you know, their parents passed down the trauma to them. And it's how do you get rid of this anger when there's not really a program for mental health? So that's why I'm I'm happy that I can actually maybe run a center one day and actually help people and i want to help people of all colors and problems and size and you know actually get some help from poor people for once um and you know i'm i'm excited about that i'm happy that i have this opportunity and i jumped on it so it's gonna be it's my career so all this is my career and i'm just gonna take it one day at a time and try to better myself you know as Fallon, as my favorite YouTuber Fallon Taylor says, one percent better. So I'm gonna try to do one percent better each day. Um, okay, guys, um, that's it for now. Um, next time I will touch on some more topics. If you have any questions or anything that you want to address, or you know, if you want to do an interview with me, and then you know, help each other out. We'll support each other, and we'll make a world better for everyone. Okay. Love you guys. See you next time.